Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale episode, guys. I've been watching too much Chief Pat, which is why I'm starting my videos like this. I will probably be stopping that soon. <laughs> Thank you, guys. For right now, I'm at 1.7k subscribers. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. So if you haven't subscribed already, drop a like. Leave, leave a like. Subscribe. Okay, I, I just can't talk right now. Um, so you drop a like, you subscribe, and you share. Thank you. Finally. That was like 32 seconds already. Okay, so today we'll be talking about legendary cards, the cost of each one. So, of course, the first one will be the legendary chest. So this is what the actual chest looks like with the legendary card coming out of it, of course. And this is what the actual special offer looks like. It does look a bit different. So, yeah. So, um, it has a 100% chance of containing a legendary as you can see, it says times one legendaries over here, so that is pretty obvious. The cost is 500 gems, as you can see, or if you get it in battle, it it costs, well, it doesn't cost you anything. It costs 144 gem to gem after you start opening it, or before that. It takes one full day. That is 24 hours. It's not that hard, but for back back to the 500 gems thing, it's 12 Okay, and all the math is ba is focused on Arena 9 and Canadian Dollars. So, you guys will have to change some stuff for that if you want, like, American Dollars and stuff. So, the chest costs twelve ninety nine Canadian Dollars for the 500 gems offer. And for the 144, it just, it doesn't cost much. So, but it does, there's only one legendary chest in every 500 chest cycle. Any place, it can even take the spot of a magical chest or a super magical chest if it was super magical that just sucks so this is the grand challenge chest there's a 25.88 percent chance of obtaining a legendary of course this is based on arena 9 or also it'd be higher if it's a, if you were in arena 10 or higher it'll be lower if you're in arena 8 or lower than that arena so, the cost for entering a grand challenge, it, okay, this is also for 12 wins, so if you have less than 12 wins, then, honestly, I don't think you're going to have that much of a chance. Well, you're not even going to have a really good chance, like, a really small chance. Wait, let me check. Oh, it's like a 9% chance if you get, like, four, five wins, actually. It's six wins. There we go. Why can't I read right now? The cost to enter is 100 gems, which is the same as 167 Canadian dollars. It's in the 80 gems for 139 in Canada, in Canadian dollars, and then plus 60 gems, plus a bit because of the extra 20 gems, which is 20%. I mean, yeah, I, I can't even count right now. But yeah, that's what I did the math for. That was only 28 cents. Add that in, because 14 cents is for 10 gems in the 80 gem pack thing. Not really gem pack, but you guys get what I mean. The next is, of course, it's the classic challenge chest. It has a really small chance, only 2.35% chance of obtaining a legendary, even though it's still really possible. The cost is to enter is 10 gems, which is 14 cents, which I already said already before, which for the Grand Towns test. So this is not really the best way to find, to get it, but it's a pretty good way if you have really less gems, but of course you should really save up for the um, legendary chest in the shop, which comes about once every month or twice if you're in legendary arena. The next is the free chest. This is actually a real screenshot of how I got my Electro Wizard. Of course it's a bit cropped, which is why at the top you can see a bit of what. So, um, this was before the Electro Wizard Challenge. Wait, no, this was on my second account. What am I saying? On my main account, for my full attack account, that one has Electro Wizard maxed out because of the Electro Wizard Challenge. I just bought a bunch of gems. That was, like, a lot. <laughs> so this is for my second account. I don't use the Electro Wizard myself on both accounts. Well, yeah, on my main account, but not my second account, because they don't have Inferno Dragon, or most, some people don't even use Inferno Tower in their decks, which is, like me, uh, but yeah, so, I'm gonna show, I'm actually gonna show you my next free chest offer before I talk about 
the actual stats for getting a legendary from it. Here's another screenshot from my actual main account, pretty new, that was um, a free chest that got a princess for me. I'm like, thank you for that princess. The, so there's a 0.12% chance of paying a legendary, but as you can see, it's actually pretty easy to get it from a free chest. The cost is zero gems. It's only four hours, so you can open like six of them in each day. That's already a really good chance of getting it. So, well, of course, that is non-stop opening chests, non-stop chest openings. Imagine somebody was actually, like, recording that. No, imagine Nick at night recording. Okay, let's get back to the topic. The cost is only four hours. Here's another screenshot, of course, from my main account. It is the, uh, I mean, what am I talking about? The Ice Wizard. So, the chance is a 6.59% chance of obtaining a Legendary, like I did. The cost is 12 hours. I'm not sure how many gems it is for the, um, actual, um, okay, what am I talk? I can't even talk. The, in the shop? Okay, the next is, what do you think it is? The super magical chest. So this is how I got the log. There's a 45.18% chance of obtaining a legendary if it's in Arena 9. Super magical chest. Of course, this is all based on Canadian dollars and Arena 9. So it's 4,600 gems to buy from the shop. And then that turns out as $57. So of course, the chance is like the highest, I think. Wait, no, second highest. So, let's go back to... Wait, you guys might be surprised by this next screenshot that I'll show you. I actually got a bunch of bandits. So, this is how I got my first bandit card. So, this was actually from another free chest. <laughs> like, I keep getting them out of free chest. I will leave a link to the stuff, the math that I use from yarn from orange juice down below in the description so um there's a so let's go back into the let's go back and talk about the actual math and which one is the best to get a legendary from chess so the best way to get a legendary of course is from the legendary chest a hundred percent chance of obtaining a legendary but you don't get any gold so that kind of sucks the second best way is the super magical chest. It is a 45.18% chance of obtaining a legendary. Of course, it's 4,600 gems, so it's not really that. Actually, it's not really worth it because it's more than a legendary chest. You could buy like a lot of legendary chests, like nine of them, with still 100 gems left for your ground challenge. So, this third best way to get it okay this is all from percentage if you didn't know so the third best way is of course the grand challenge chest instead of buying a super magical chest you can just get the you can just get nine legendary chests well that's like nine te nine months <laughs> um so nine months for nine legendary chests plus a new grand challenge so that's 25.88 percent chance of obtaining a legendary of course, it's 167 for in Canadian dollars, of course. So, the fourth, I think it's fourth, the fourth best way is the magical chest. 6.59% chance of obtaining a legendary from that magical chest. Over, of course, it's 12 hours. The fifth, I think, is the classic challenge chest. 2.35% of obtaining a legendary. Costs only 10 gems, really worth it, 14 cents, Canadian dollars. The last way, this is, even though it's getting a bit easier to get it, so this may not be exact, but it's a free chest, 0.12% chance of obtaining a legendary. If you open enough, you have to be able to get a legendary from a free chest. It's not impossible. Like, people even get Sparkies, the worst Clash Royale card that does massive damage in free chests. Like... If you guys think that's not possible, go down below and leave a like. If you think it is possible, go down below and leave a like. So, yeah. <laughs>
lol. <laughs> this isn't that weird both ways. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure that you guys are actually gonna like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. And so, thank you. Okay, what? I can't even talk right now. Thank you and peace out. Like a hell cut. Like a hell cut.